Nets are going to work with him on it. And I think as we talk now about the the concept that he'd come back to the Nets, we need to remember that. So if you walked in to our boss, Norby Williamson's office today, and said, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to resign, presumably he'd try to talk you out of it. He does not want you to go. He has you under contract. He's expecting you to host get up this fall mm-hmm. for the NFL season. It, you would not expect him to say, uh, okay, I uh, appreciate that. Uh, you and I are on the same page. Let's help get you out of here. Mm-hmm. And so that's what the Nets said. The Nets heard the trade demand or request, whatever you want to call it, and said, all right, let's work together to get you out of here. Um, and that is something you have to remember, which is why I believe that them now you know, sort of sending out the vibe that they could bring him back is for now, and it's the second week of July. You don't can't hold him near the Nets to this, but for now is a negotiating position. I, I think that's where they're at. So they they definitely were not interested in having Kyrie Irving long term because the offers that they gave him were not reflective of somebody they wanted to keep. They gave him an offer that they could have lived with, but they were really telling him that they didn't want him. And Kyrie picked that vibe up and didn't take it. And now they are preparing to move on without Durant. If they if they have to to bring him back, he's a superstar player. I guess I can't take it off the table, but let's just remember where it started. 